everyone. Welcome back to the channel, I'm Bogey King. We're glad you're here today. Today I have another exciting product review for you. I'm going to be reviewing one of my favorite things to wear, one of my favorite accessories, and if you haven't guessed it by now, that is sunglasses. So I am wearing the Oakley Dark Golf Prism Lens in a Holbrook frame, and I have two others. I have the Prism Polarized, and then I have the regular Prism. So today, I'm gonna to put these to the test. We're gonna do a few different scenarios from the tee to the rough, and we're going to show you what it looks like to look through these lenses, and we're gonna see if there's any difference, if there's any benefit to the Dark Golf Lens, and if it's worth the $160 it costs to get a set of Oakley Dark Golf Prism glasses. So if you're new here, hit that subscribe, hit that like, hit that bell. It goes a long way to help the channel. Here at Bogey King Golf, we seek to inspire, to educate, have fun, and do product reviews. Today is a product review day. And we always love those, we always have fun. And so uh, we would love for you to be connected and plugged in and know when new videos and new content launches. So without any other introduction, why don't we get into what these glasses are about and then we'll get into the comparison. So these are the Oakley Dark Golf Prism lenses. Now, there's a difference between Prism and Polarized. There are Prism Polarized and then there's just Prism. Prism is the lens technology Oakley has that they have in a number of their sunglasses and it has increased color, increased clarity. Um, it is just a top notch lens. Now, I have owned several of these glasses over the years. I wear them until they can't be worn anymore and either you know give them away I re-lens them or um, I just keep continuing to collect the glasses. Now being in the golf world and seeing that they had a golf lens, I wanted to try it out. And I've had these lenses for the past few months. I've played with them uh, in a number of rounds throughout the summer and so I thought it'd be a great time to talk about my experience, give you my honest opinion and review. I bought them myself, so this is my opinion based on my experience. And then I would show you in these different scenarios you know, how it looks from the first person perspective and that you make your decision whether or not you think it's worth the investment. So we're going to first, we're gonna tee off. We're gonna hit a few off the tee and I'm gonna go through each lens. And we'll also do without any lens or filter so you can see what it looks like with the naked eye would see it as. I'm out here in a, you know, day where the sun is coming down. It's a little bit towards the late, you know, evening afternoon. And so we kind of have some glare. So it kind of simulates that fall season when glasses may be or may not be more important. Uh, to you, and I think it's hopefully going to help you, and at the very end, we'll come back, I'll give you my full, honest opinion, my review, my experience, I'll give you the Bogey King rating, and uh, hopefully it'll give you some information to make a more informed choice if you're looking for, or in the market for a new pair of sunglasses, maybe specifically golf sunglasses. So why don't we get into it? Let's hit some off the tee and see how uh, it looks and see how you know each lens compares to the other. All right, everyone, here we go. Okay, so now you've seen them off the tee. You've seen all three different lenses or no lens. You've seen what it looks like. So now we're gonna simulate the ball in the fairway. We're gonna walk out, we're gonna put the different lenses and see what it looks like. Trying to find the ball in the fairway what the contrast looks like. So now we're going to simulate the balls in the rough, maybe the second cut, the third cut. Uh, but this is kind of, I'd say a middle rough. It's nothing too deep, uh, so nothing crazy. So we're going to, we got two balls here, a white and a green, and we're going to do the same thing. We'll walk out, we'll show you what it looks like with the different lenses, but first without any lens and just what would be the naked eye. So last and certainly not least, we have more deep rough simulated. And so we're going to, again, same thing with the naked eye would see, and then with the three different lenses would see, trying to find the balls in the, you know, I'd say deep rough. Well, there you have it. 
that was the Oakley Dark Golf compared to the Oakley Prism Polarized, the Oakley Prism, and then what the naked eye would see. Now, I will leave it up to you to form your own opinion based on what I was able to show you. But for me, uh, on a Bogey King scale of one to five golf balls, I'm going to give them a three. Now, the reason I'm giving them a three is because of a few factors. The first one is based on the fact that they are a golf lens and they are intended to give you an advantage with finding your ball, seeing it down the fairway, having some visual contrast between the different undulations of the fairways and the greens, etc. And I think they do a decent job of that, but I don't see any marked improvement over the other two lenses or a regular set of sunglasses. I know that, as I mentioned earlier, there are differences between polarized and non-polarized, and it could affect your depth perception, but at the end of the day, if you're using a rangefinder, your Garmin S62, or any other technology, you're gonna understand distance and depth anyway, so I don't know that you need your sunglasses to help you in that way. They do provide great clarity. They have great contrast. They're comfortable. I can wear them. They definitely block out a good, you know, good amount of glare and a good amount of the sun. But um, you know, they're not as dark as some of the lenses I have or as the mirrored lenses are. And at the end of the day, you know, I think they're okay. But it's something that for me is an important choice. I have severe allergies, and so I have sensitivity to light. And so the sunglasses for me are a pretty crucial part of my golf gear and my, you know, kind of the setup when I get out there. We talked before about golf shoes and how that's a foundation of your golf game, but for me, you know, the sunglasses are really part of that foundation to make sure that I can play and see comfortably while I'm out here. So I think they're great. I do love Oakley sunglasses. I have several pairs. I've had them throughout the years. They last a long time. You can buy replacement lenses. If you don't want to spend money on the Oakley replacement lenses, you can buy them off of, you know, Amazon for cheap and they break, who cares? At the end of the day though, you know, I think it's just okay. I don't think they're great. I don't think they're terrible. I think they're just in the middle. So that's why I gave them three. Uh, again, these retailed for 160. If you go for like a Prism Polarized, which don't come in the golf, uh, you're gonna talk about 190 to 200. And then, you know, the prices range and vary from there. But at the end of the day, it's up to you. I think you have to do what's right for your golf game. And hopefully this video uh, provides you some information. Uh, if you go out there and, you know, wanna make a purchase or you thought about this, uh, especially as we're getting into the fall season and the sun is in a lower position throughout parts of the day and you might have more glare than others. And so this might be a factor for you to consider. So again, if you're new here, hit that subscribe, hit that like. It goes a long way to help the channel. Hit that bell to get notified. We got new videos every week at 11 a.m. And we would love for you to be a part of what we have going on here at Bogey King Golf. We've got some giveaways coming up and you must be a subscriber to do so. Check us out on our social, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, TikTok, I don't know if I missed any, but yeah, we're out there at Bogey King Golf. Go find us, follow us, give us a like and share us with your friends and family. And until next week, we hope you get out and play some golf. And as we say every week here at Bogey King Golf, you can still have fun even when you're playing plus one. So until then, we will talk to you soon. All right, everyone, later.